That's better. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it is a rare, balmy, 30, mid 30 degree weather day in uh, January in Minnesota. So we are getting some stuff done on the bus. We've got a couple of updates and uh, we are gonna be taking care of our 12 volt problem with some more blue equipment. First off, um, how are things going with us, right? Well, we are not doing a whole lot right now. Uh, just kind of locked down doing, uh, kids are in school, it's cold. We can't really do much, so that's probably why you haven't been hearing much from us. Uh, but I have been taking care of a couple of things. So let me, uh, let's flip things around and show it to you. So number one, right off the bat, we have another couch here that I minified. Shrunk it about six inches this way, this way, and pushed it in here. So normally this is a uh, your normal couch is going to be about 36 inches uh, deep. Now this is 28 inches. Same thing we did with this one. We really like this improvement. These are just way more comfortable, and they're still super thin. Uh, eventually, like I said before, we are going to be taking out these cabinets and uh, redoing that. And you can probably tell here, uh, it does not fit where our old dinette parts were. And as you can see there, we are in the process of figuring out what we're going to do there. Uh, still not sure, but we like this. The other big thing is our diesel air heater. How has that been going? And I have to be honest, I have let that run all winter i know we, we we live in a house we live in a sticks and bricks but i've been keeping this warm because we do use it on occasion and i'm working out here on occasion and i thought it's probably more efficient to uh, keep it somewhat warm all the time rather than raising up the temperature and then letting it drop back down and that's not good for anything and it's just kind of fun so i've been doing that and it's been actually working really well except for one issue I let it run out of fuel a couple of times because we're using an external fuel tank. And I think that caused it to soot up a couple of times. And I had some problems with a lot of white smoke, um, just wasn't burning well and that sort of stuff. Um, we were able to take care of it, but that is leading me to something else I wanna take care of. And uh, let me show you what I'm thinking and how I plan to solve it. The diesel air heater here, right? Uh, that's what it, all right. Well, actually, with the fan barely moving, we get about 12 volts there, which is about what our 12 volt system outputs. Normally, 12 volts is not a problem, but once you start adding a load to 12 volt applications, the voltage starts to drop very quickly because the voltage is so low to begin with. Uh, we've had that problem with our awning, and uh, hopefully what we're going to do is going to solve that as well. We've had that problem with this now. When the when the glow plug is on, the voltage drops down to almost 10, like 10.5, 10.4. And the other thing, when the voltage gets low, uh, when the fan is spinning very quickly with the diesel heater, and what I'm thinking is that can contribute to sooting up in your diesel heater if you don't have good voltage because when you're at 10, 11 volts, the fan isn't spinning as fast. And that means not as much air is being pulled into the combustion chamber. And that means you have too much fuel, not enough oxygen, you get soot, you get white smoke. So I'm thinking this is gonna solve it. Um, I've got another trick for de-sooting your diesel air heater that I think worked pretty well, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> There's a lot of things we're gonna get to later, right? Anyway, let's uh, talk about what I bought. Oh, so right here, I, I love more blue stuff. So right now we have just a crappy Chinese uh, 12 volt, 24 volt to 12 volt DC step down converter. So this is an Orion 24 to 12 volt converter. But what it actually is and what makes it special is it's adjustable and it actually so accepts a very wide range of input voltage, 18 to 32, 
And on the output side, you can go from 10 to 15. And that's adjustable with this little uh, adjustment screw there. So I think we're going to install this today and see if that higher voltage is going to help us out. And that should help out the diesel air heater and the awning outside. Uh, so while we're out here, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just bouncing all around. I, I can try and fix this by editing it all together. I don't know if it's going to work all that well. I'm just really excited to be making a video again. So stream of consciousness, here we go. Uh, a tip on how you take care of sooting in this diesel air heater. I did a 50-50 mix of gasoline and diesel and ran that through here for a little bit. And that seemed to clean it up. It didn't burn as hot, but gasoline burns better. It vaporizes better. And uh, I think it just, it helped burn everything out. So that seemed to work pretty well for us. Anyway, enough about this. Let's jump around to the other side. Take a look at what we got. There we go. All right. So, what we have right now is that uh, I I would call it a little crappy uh, converter. So, we are going to replace that with this. But I think before I do that, I want to see what the voltage is right there. So I'm going to go grab my voltmeter and let's go take a look. Okay, so I'm measuring right here. Looks like this little device is putting out 12.4, which isn't bad. So we've got 0.4 voltage uh, drop. Uh, and that's not just line loss, that is with what the diesel heater is using. So... Uh, hopefully if we get that up to me, we will run that at like 14. Everything will run a lot happier. Well, uh, here we are a day later. Uh, I was working on that project and I got pulled away doing some other stuff in the house. The way things go, right? But everything's working fine. I set the converter for 13.8 volts. And that ends up translating to a much higher voltage at the diesel air heater and everything else seems to be working just fine. So uh, let me show you how that ends up working. So uh, I've got it running now. And so let's kick this up a little bit so it will, because what is it measuring right now? 17 in here, so it's not gonna really kick on. I just pushed up the temperature so it will. And what's the voltage? So we're getting 13.5 there, which means there's hardly any line loss. And once that fan starts kicking up, it'll drop down a little bit. That fan is really starting to kick up now. We are at about 13 volts. So there it is. Um, I think the consensus seems to be all of your 12 volt electronics seem to do a lot better at uh, 13, 14 volts, somewhere in there, rather than 12. There's just uh, a little more voltage, that means less amps, that means less heat. So your stuff's gonna last longer, it's gonna work better. Um, so really be careful about the uh, 24 to 12 volt converters that you get. Make sure they're adjustable, don't make the same mistakes I did. Um, if you like this content, you like what we're doing give us a subscribe give us a thumbs up leave a comment all that stuff uh, feed that algorithm so other people find out what we're doing and they can you know <laughs> leave comments and tell us how we're screwing up or we're doing something wrong or whatever i don't know uh so that's all for this episode um i've got a couple ideas cooking we'll see uh, i've been busy with work and kids sports and all that stuff so we we make videos when we can so definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss one all right, that's everything. Bye.